hello this is light and going terror thank you so much for listening and for letting me read for you for watching my channel uh for all of it so oh these are off kilter um yes we are doing a reading today for are you meant to be with them is this the person you're supposed to be with uh, it can be someone you're with it can be someone you I just want to be with, want to be in contact with, whatever it is. It's that one person, think about it, and um, you're going to, yeah, get some insight from Spirit on whether or not this person is someone you should be with. Um, okay, there are four crystal cards here, and just really take a look at them. Find the one that just calls out to you is the most beautiful, the most interesting, whatever it is, and this is going to be your pile, and you'll get your reading. And... There's something about this reading, I really do want it to, I mean, answer, you know, the question, are you meant to be with them? Like, is this kind of, I don't know if soulmate's the right word, but like someone really, um, that you should put time and effort into. So I look forward to doing a reading for you. Okay. Thank you so much. See you soon. Goodbye. Tara, thank you so much for being here and letting me read for you. We are doing a reading for, are you meant to be with them? Is this your person? Are you... I don't know, how many life histories do you have together? I don't think I'm going to answer that, but um, I don't think I'm qualified to answer that. But I am going to get a sense of whether or not you guys are meant to be. So we are going to ask Spirit that question and figure it out. Um, okay, you picked, this is Aquamarine, and I don't know what it is about Aquamarine. Um, reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. I think she says it somewhere, and I grew up watching that. So something about this has an Alice in Wonderland vibe. I'm not sure. What that's all about and then we had three oracle cards that i'm going to turn over as well just to get like a little bit more about the just the whole the whole vibe um so we've got going beyond normal the fifth house creativity and we have the whale and i'm gonna say that that does not go there um who knew organizing these cards would be so hard okay so just these oracle cards taking in a whole um there's definitely something here about like communication sort of almost like communicating through art art imitating life life imitating art something along those lines something um almost like there's this dream piece. There's this this creation, something you've created here. Um, I'm gonna get more into these because right off the bat, I just I don't I see in my like I see a story behind it, but I want to get some tarot and we're gonna unfold it a little bit. But there is this very there's this connected piece, and there is uh, yeah something about art and communication and like going kind of almost like going way back together there's this piece of like time um i want to say many lives even though that's something i need to like study more on but just this this clock on this woman's forehead and like all this history and all this i just feel like there's a history between you guys um so yeah let me get i want to see i want to see the two of you like explained in three cards like what's your vibe who are you guys in three cards. So we've got two of wands, ah, niche. um, four of swords and nine of swords. So two of wands I like, um, and these cards, they give words to the cards. So sometimes they're like in line with what I feel, sometimes not, but definitely here, two of wands are saying unity. And I agree with that. When I see the two of wands, I, I, I definitely think of a connection. I think of something very, in sync, in balance, um, just there's a synchronicity there. And so unity absolutely tracks. And I, I, yeah, okay, so four of wands, rest and nine of swords, um, it is a conflict. It's a card of stress, of strife, of, the four of swords to me is, it, it tells me that maybe not much has happened with this dynamic for a while. Maybe there's been this stagnant period, maybe a time of like not talking, maybe, um, so it almost feels to me like you guys do have this synchronicity. Somehow you're in sync. You, you feel each other somehow, whether you regularly dream of each other or you dream of them or they text you and say, like, I just had a dream about you. Like, I really do think there's something that keeps you guys connected. 
Um, but I feel like things have been almost like crickets or just very, very turned down between you guys. And the Nine of Swords, the mental conflict, um, I almost feel like it's intentional that you guys haven't reached out. Like you've been, you've almost put each other on this timeout or you've intentionally taken a step back, you've taken time. And the thing about this, when I look at the whale like card here, there's something about this, I don't know, when I think of a whale, it's like this big, like kind of, I want to say like blubbery thing. And I just feel like it represents almost this, this great potential of communication, this great, big, wonderful thing that you guys could have. And yet it's like you haven't, you're just, you're not quite there yet. But there is this, this communication piece that I think you guys have almost like this silent communication. There's this, there's this real connection between you guys and the fifth house, the creativity. I feel like you guys really, you see and feel each other, even when you're not connected. And I don't think if I see you guys in three cards right now, I don't necessarily think you are connected. Um, I don't really think this is someone that you're like dating and seeing currently. I think this is someone that you think on or someone that you just got back in touch with or someone that like, I don't know, maybe is slightly taboo for some reason. So you haven't really pursued something, but it just makes me think that like, you know, there's almost this like, without it being tragic, you know, there's tragic love story um, where there's been a divide between you guys. So I want to see, um, I want to see your guys' near future in three cards and see if we can get a little bit more, um, more uplifting because I can see the connection. I can see you guys. There's absolutely something real here. Like I validate why you're asking about this person, why you're inquiring if you're meant to be. I, I get that because you feel it in your bones and it, it, I have a feeling when you guys are together, it's like poetry. Like when you guys do actually connect, whether it's on the phone, in person, for a moment, for a day, whatever it is, I feel like you guys are totally in sync. But then when you are apart, um, you might be able to go a long time without talking. There's just this this great distance. But always this thing that connects you two. Um, so yeah, I want to see your guys' near future, like together or apart, what does the near future look like for you guys? And we'll, I think this will give an idea of like, if your near future includes this person or what this looks like. So the star, I couldn't, couldn't ask for a better card. Uh, maybe the sun, but still the star is pretty good. Uh, okay, so we've got wishes, we've got 10 of swords completion and five of swords conflict. Okay, so I don't mind these, there's a lot of swords on the table. Okay, so there's a lot of thought and contemplation that's gone into this. There is I feel like not so much action is happening with you guys, but the, the thoughts are there, the intention, which as I see this, I could say that you guys could almost, you together, yourself, this connection could almost be manifested. Like you, there's a magic here. There's a, po there's a potential, but it, it, it feels like it's just in this thought phase. Um, the Five of Swords is hard. This is definitely a card of conflict. Ten of Swords, they give the word completion, but um, it can even be a little bit more like intense than that. But it makes things aren't quite happening with you guys. Um, hmm. The star with wishes for the near future. If anything, I'm going to say that you are going to make more of an effort more of a wish, you're gonna put more intention or more energy towards this than you have possibly ever before or in a very long time or um, for the first time. Like this just makes me think that you, coupled with the fact that you're here watching this reading, I actually think that you're ready to be like, you know what, I'm gonna do this. It's now or never, I want this. I know this is someone I should be with, I could be with, like we deserve a chance. We we both feel the same way and however it actually turns out for you guys um isn't really the point i think the point is that you're going to go for it and i do think that you guys have tremendous potential there's something here to imply there's this potential there is something again i don't want to say tragic but there's this like 
on an almost like cinematic story between you two, like this, not quite the classic love story because I don't think you've had enough time together like physically or romantically to pull that off, but there's, you guys definitely have a story, this kind of like back and forth, this unfolding. And the going beyond the normal is, I don't know that there's anyone else in your life that you have this with. Um, there's something kind of extreme and unique about you guys. And okay, so as I talk about this, I'm, you know, I think, okay, what's the point of this reading? And is it, are you meant to be with them? I want always to say, yes, you are meant to be with them. Um, I can't say yes or no based on this. I can absolutely see a history here. I can see purpose. I can see something substantial. I can see absolute potential. I can see that you guys have, you know, like probably cried real tears over each other, um, had an argument, seen each other's seen sides of each other that are like good, bad, otherwise. I just, I see a history and a path here. And I do think you guys communicate quite well. I, I think there's either like an established friendship. I think there's something here to speak of like the fact that there's a communication, but um, yeah. And, and to that point, when you guys are together communicating, I think you really flow like, like a theater, like a drama, like a saga. Like I think things just really flow and unfold very beautifully with you guys. Um, Okay, I'm going to just ask for it, which I don't think I always do this, but I'm going to ask, are you meant to be with them? And I'm going to pull over three cards to just get it once and for all. Are you meant to be? So, um, okay, we've got temperance, which I'm feeling. We've got, and the harmony sword. Okay, three of swords. Woo, these swords. And this is not a new deck, like, <laughs> in death. Okay, so... Are you meant to be? And we have temperance, three of swords, death. Death never means death. It means rebirth, which they are giving, assigning the meaning of to this card. So good for this deck. That makes me happy. I'm going to put death over here because we can't quite see her properly. The, <laughs> the three of swords can be, I mean, heartbreak on the extreme. It can definitely be like affairs of the heart, which they're saying. It's something to make me think that there is so much thought and like dare I say strife that's gone into this dynamic and I really think you guys the theme I don't think it's necessarily been romance I don't think it's been physical touch I don't think it's been like working together necessarily I think it's been thought and almost like stress and overthought and like missed moments and I don't know I just feel like you guys have a very interesting story and I, I really if there's gotta be a time where you guys have your time, your moment in this, whatever, in the, this beautiful moment has to be given to you guys at some point to see if this is gonna play out purposely um, or the way that you want it to. Rebirth, death, I like this because I think there could be a coming of new here. I really think if we ask, are you guys meant to be, I think it would happen after you guys like shed old skins, shed old beliefs, shed, old baggage. I think there's like this change that both of you or maybe one of you in particular has to go through to see things like from a different perspective to almost reemerge as this different, whether it's like more mature, more accepting, more whatever individual. But I feel like there's this piece of change. Like you have to kind of just reemerge from the ashes. And that's when I get out of death. And I think you could really have something, but like the the ending would have to change. It couldn't, it can't play out the way it has been. Um, temperance, there is a harmony here. There is a balance. I mean, temperance to me is all about a balance. It's like, what is it? Like robbing from Cain to give to Abel, or I don't know. It's like taking from one to give to, oh my gosh, to give to another, botching that. But temperance really is, it is striking that balance, whatever that means. Like, I don't know, drink more water, eat less food, drink, I don't know, whatever, that horrible example. Can't think of a like legit example. But I do think you're, you're not, there's too much thought, right? So let's get a little more action, a little less thought about this. Let's get like less words and more touch, less this and more that. Like, I just feel like this is definitely a, yes, things could work. Yes, you might actually be meant to be with them, but some things do have to change. And um, these things so far seem very conscious to me. Like someone would have to really 
want to work on themselves, really want to change, really want to do things differently, feel things differently, live a different life. Like there's just, um, there's something that has to happen here because it is odd to see all these swords and the communication is real. There is this thing that you guys have, this bond, this connection, like two actors on a stage. There's this, whether it's almost like a silent, there's this silent beauty between you guys. Um, I can feel it, but, and yeah, there's, Okay, okay, so affairs of the heart, are you meant to be? I don't think this means you're gonna break each other's heart or anything like that. I think it means there's some sorting out to do. There is, okay, we need to get another card because I don't like seeing another sword card come up as like, are you meant to be? It doesn't tell me anything. The, the table is like fraught with sword cards. Like enough with the communication, enough with the, <laughs> the words, the thoughts, the freaking like, let's get something to show that like you guys are really meant to be. So we're gonna go for a fourth card here and get some insight from spirit. And finally, something not to be a sword card. Um, and we have seven of wands and they're calling this defense. To me, seven of wands is a little bit of like completely going after what you want. This is like, pick your target like ready aim fire what do you want what do you this is all action so i do think if you guys are gonna work um and for you guys i'll say it's not so much a question of whether or not you're meant to be i think it's more of a question of are you guys going to work meant to be yeah i think you could be meant to be i think you have the history there i think you have the the backstory i think you have that like that silent connection that like this is someone you can look at from across the room and if you were like angry or scared or stressed they would see your face and be like oh shit i know what she's thinking like i just feel like you guys have that and it is when you have that with someone it's very natural to think you maybe you're meant to be with that person especially if you're like attracted to them on top of it and all these other boxes are checked and everything fills fits like fits together i think that um Yes, this could be someone you are meant to be with, but I think the question is, how are you guys gonna make this work? And like I said, less talking and thinking and more touching, more tangibles, because I don't get the feeling that's that's like your guys' place or dynamic right now. So this is action to me. This is pursuing something. This is going after it. Um, and it is also that like, if you want it, don't hold back kind of thing. Like, don't apologize, don't over explain. You don't even have to tell anyone you're doing this. Like, this is your your thing and this is between you guys. And um, yeah, so, so funny that I can't really say, are you meant to be? If I had to pick yes or no, I would say, I absolutely think you could be, but is it gonna work? Um, okay, let's get input from Spirit on how you would make this work because now I've got these, like too many random like thoughts that I just okay anyway um two cards from spirit on how you would make this work input so nine of cups love that this is so busy sorry about that okay and judgment forgiveness so nine of cups this is the wish card this is a very very good card it's positive it's lovely it's happy it's good fortune it's loved up it's all the good endorphins. How are you guys gonna make this work? I think you're just gonna put it all out there. You're like, again, you're gonna stop thinking. You're actually gonna be like, I wanna show you how much I like you. This is how much I like you with, you know, the right words followed up by the right actions. I, there's just something where I feel like you guys need to be in the same place at the same time to pull this off. <laughs> so either you've been talking on the phone way too much, texting, lived in different states, different countries, different whatever, you've been so close but so far away. Like there's just that kind of story that plays out here. Um, so I do feel like if you really want this, yes, this, this absolutely can be yours. And there is this like almost good luck, this gift from spirit, maybe she's not even gonna explain it, she's just gonna say yes. Wish on this hard enough, want it, um, sure, but more input, we've got judgment, um, forgiveness. Judgment to me is always the card of how you see yourself less than like how others are judging you. This, this almost never means like 
how does someone else see you? It's how you see yourself. And are you doing the things that sit well with you? Like, are you sleeping well at night because you're feeling good about the decisions you made? You know, like your moral compass, your, your life path, your decisions, your consequences, karma, whatever. There's a lot that comes into this, but this could be like, don't beat yourself up. Don't be so hard on yourself. Don't think that you are either too good for this person or not good enough for this person. There's just this, this piece of like, um, yeah, dropping, dropping your judgments of how you see yourself. Something about how you see yourself has been holding you back in this dynamic. And again, that could be you thinking you're too good for this person or not good enough. Um, I can't really figure out where this fits in, but there is, with you guys right now, there is this story I see, and it's not, it's beautiful in this like stage performance kind of way. Like this could be an opera of like, you know, two kids whose families go way back and the kids were supposed to always fall in love and be together. And then they just like ships in a night. And you know, it's just that, it's got that whole feeling to it where like you, this is someone you have history with. And okay, let's say you don't have history with this, not this person. Let's say you've known them for a few months or a year. It still feels like you've known this person for a long time. There is a, a very real connection between you guys. And it is something that does go beyond and it goes beyond anything you've experienced with anyone else for there's a depth here. Um, so I get that. And even with the whale, it is, it's just this density, this depth, this in this intensity. And it is, it's rare. It's precious. It's, something to like really chew on. Um, okay. I am going to wrap up this reading. I'm going to say that there's absolute potential here. And I think you guys could have something beautiful and great. It's just going to take some work and effort. Um, but yes, I, I see what you see. I feel what you feel towards this and it is exceptional. And, um, there's something very real and very connected between you two. So I hope that's enough to go on. I mean, I don't necessarily have a follow-up reading to this, but I have a ton of other readings that might help. But um, yeah, I, I wanna end this on a note where you feel good. Um, I mean, I, I'm ending it authentically, but I, I authentically want you <laughs> to feel good about this because I think there's a very positive message in this reading and definitely one of potential, but um, work. Okay. I can repeat myself in circles for a long time. So I'll stop now, but I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much and um, see you soon. Goodbye. Thank you so much for being here and letting me read for you. Uh, we are doing a reading for Are You Meant to Be With Them? So this person, whoever that is, um, yeah, think on them and we're going to try to get some clarity as to whether or not you're meant to be with them. So here we go. Um, we have three Oracle cards that I pulled for your reading. So um, let's see what these are and get a better idea. Um, oh my goodness. You picked this beautiful crystal card and I probably would have picked this too. This is Hidden Night. Hidden Night. I don't know much about this, but it is lovely. Okay. Um, I use these as more as an aesthetic. I just, crystals, it's like a whole different world. I totally subscribe to it, but don't know much about every crystal. Okay. We've got wave and, um, third house messages. Okay. Very interesting. I'm going to say, looking at these three cards, there's something like mystical. There's something almost magical about you guys. Um, the third house message is this is a card of, of knowledge of, oh my gosh, of seeing, of understanding of like libraries and records and data and all these things that have this, like, not only have the gift of like true, actual, factual, information and history and facts, but also this like power that comes with knowing these things. This, I feel like there's this magical piece as well, like a kind of like alchemy, how once you're able to understand and perform alchemy, you're like supposed to be practically like holy or something. So there's just this, 
there's something about this card. There's there's a magic to this card. Visions of life beyond death. That's what this card is. Um, the circle card. There's also something all-knowing and powerful about that card. Um, and then the wave to me is like it's very cyclical. It's got that kind of almost like overly emotional piece, but this. I don't know this pattern, this vibration, this in and out. There's something very, yeah, there's something, there's something here. So I definitely feel something here. Um, let me see you guys in three cards, like right now. What do you, what are three cards to kind of describe your guys' vibe, who you are, where you're at? Um, okay, so it's always interesting when I swear I turn over, it doesn't matter what deck or how much I shuffle, I feel like I always turn over major cards. So it's a, just a funny thing. But um, okay, we have the Hermit, Nine of Cups, and Wheel of Fortune. So you guys, absolute complexity here. Something beautiful, something exciting, something abs like, there's feeling here, there's emotion here, there's a depth to you guys. There's something, not only do you guys have a history and you know each other and you get each other, but I almost feel like you have this control over each other like equally you guys have this ability to pull the other in or push the other away from like I want to say what they're doing or who they're with and I don't even want that to sound like bad like I don't think you guys are you know like breaking up relationships or anything that's not really what I mean by that but I just like let's say one of you has been with someone who wasn't good for you or them I just feel like the other can kind of sense it and in just this mystical way kind of steer you away from that or like just you've looked over each other you've helped guide each other in ways that you realize or you don't realize there's just a piece of this to you guys which does make me feel like I guess it's really hard to answer the question are you meant to be if I had to answer it in a word I would say yes but I definitely think you guys have a very deep spiritual connection there's something very connected about you and I think you both know this I don't think it's like only something you feel and they don't I think both of you feel this so you guys right now in three cards wheel of fortune the hermit and nine of cups something tells me um you've come together whether you've been together for a while whether you just reconnected whether you're neighbors and you don't like 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 romantically you guys aren't together but you inter encounter each other a lot i'm not sure but i do think you're you're con like you're interacting somehow um i think this person's in your life regularly let's put it that way and that's fine if they're not it doesn't change the feeling or the message i have but i just there's a lot of um like there's a lot of energy here and i don't necessarily get the sense of it being like this pent-up energy that needs to go somewhere i feel like there's a flow here with you guys there's a um, there is, there's a give and a take. And I do, I feel like you guys both give and you both take this back and forth. And like much like the wave, I do feel like there's this kind of cyclical pattern that is actually healthy and positive. And there's a very good vibe that I get off of you guys. Now, whether or not you're like into a relationship or together, I'm, I can't see that, but I can see how, if you guys came together, it would be very, very powerful. Um, how there's a lot of potential there. So based off of the information I have right now, I would say the closest I could say off this information is that yes, you are, you are meant to be if I had to answer that question, but more, oh my goodness, more to the point, you know, I'm going to take these three cards. I would say, um, you absolutely have something and you have a very deep connection. And this is so weird to say and not really sexy at all but it almost feels like you guys were like siblings or something in a past life and there's something to the third house messages there's siblings is actually a piece of this card um and i feel like that sibling connection could be it's almost like you guys have this shared like dna or this secret code or this secret history that you guys share there's something like like encrypted in you guys that is very very intense and really i really really get this feeling um i think you guys are just aware of this there's something about like you can meditate on this you can feel it you can dream about it there's just a real connection wheel of fortune fate um this makes me think like it actually makes me think you, like you guys do need to be together and 
So this reading, I have a feeling it's gonna go very strong in the direction of like, yes, you guys are meant to be. You have this unbelievable connection. So, I mean, take what I say with a grain of salt, because um, I don't know, this person could be your neighbor who's married in a very happy relationship with three beautiful children. Like, so I, you know, again, I'm not telling you that you have to be with this person, but based on this reading, yes, there is something intense about you guys. Um, I wanna see your guys' near future. Um, just period, like full stop, not if you guys get back together. Whatever, I'm not gonna put a like a title on it, I'm just gonna say your guys' near future. What does that look like? So we're gonna do three cards for that. Um, and we've got the Nine of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Ace of Swords. This is <laughs> so beautiful, okay. Um, yeah, there is there is something here, and it is. It's a feeling I get like if past lives and past connections and all those things mean anything to you. If you subscribe to it, if you believe in it, if you feel it, then you guys absolutely have past lives together. Let's put that Let's put that out there. Um, do I think you guys were like rel related or siblings or married in a past life? Yes, or all three. There is something very uncannily connected about you guys. Um, but, and yet I still think you do have this, this, like this romantic piece to you guys. There is absolutely this, this passionate piece that is there, um, really there, but also a connection that goes way beyond that. So there is, there's that. Um, you guys, you're in your future, Nine of Pentacles, gratitude. This is such a beautiful card of things coming together. There's, it makes me think of like your home life, your personal life, your financial life, your love life, everything, things just click. It's like a very, very beautiful card to make me think that you guys are like working together um, in just in harmony on so many levels. Ace of Swords. Clarity, new, like always aces are new beginnings, but it is. This ace of sword is the clarity piece. It's that peace of mind. It's not like you are focused on exactly what you're meant to be focused on. You are, your mind isn't cluttered. You're sharp as an arrow. Like you aren't stressed. You aren't anxious. You aren't questioning things. Like you are exactly, you're just at your sharpest. And this person or being with this person or in some cases for some people it would be being away from someone like but for you i do think it's it's deepening a connection with this person brings you this kind of like silent clarity um and for ones they say happy occasions but it is that's exactly what it is it's celebration it's um you know it's totally the card of like celebrating like a wedding or an engagement or a party that has something to do with like family or home or romance. It's a very, very positive card. These three cards put together for your guys' is near future um, is very positive. <laughs> I do think this is someone you're supposed to be with. And at the very least, I think it's someone you're meant to give a go with. Will you guys be together forever? I have no idea. There's no way of telling, but my sources would say this is someone my sources. My gut tells me reading these cards that this is someone that you should pursue something with. Like, you know, assuming that you follow the laws of, you know, the universe and the state and whatever and doing this. Like, I really don't want to push anyone in a direction that doesn't serve everyone involved, but like, there is a very strong connection here. So, and let's say you can't be with this person. Let's say they are your, I don't know, married neighbor. Why that example came to be I don't know or maybe this is someone who lives in another country or you know they're in school in another state or whatever like let's say you guys really can't be together right now and who knows what the future is going to hold that someone could either one of you could like fall in love with someone else in the meantime that's possible I don't see that you guys couldn't ever fall in love with anyone else either let's put it that way I'm not seeing like this is someone you have to be with and no one else ever again it, I, and it's, that's not even for me to see, and that's not even the question I've really asked, but I do see this as someone that you absolutely have to give it a shot with at some point. And I would think, I would love to think that if you did that, things would work out very ideally, however, whatever that means for you, it could be different for everyone, but I really do feel like this is someone you should kind of um, just really explore your options with. So now I'm just gonna ask the question directly, are you meant to be with them? Um, it's a loaded question, it's a big question, and 
you know, we might get three cards that speak to the opposite. So we're, we're, I'm, we're open to whatever comes up here, but yeah, let's ask, like, are you meant to be with this person? Um, let's see what comes up. And okay. So page of wands, I, I do like that. The hanged man and restriction eight of swords. Okay. So the, the page of wands to me, okay. I'm just going to kind of go through this out loud because it's asking a question and then turning over three cards takes a little more thought sometimes than I'm prepared for. Um, <laughs> the hangman and eight of swords is interesting. Um, these are definitely cards of, of pause, of thought, of contemplation, of, um, of things not actually happening. Um, exactly. But the page of wands is, they're calling it innocence. It is this card of like, what do you want? Going after what you want. Okay. So what I get is everything I say here tracks. I mean it. I stand by it. I still feel like with this person, it's not as simple as jumping into this. There are things that need to play out. There are situations that need to be handled, addressed. And I honestly feel like there's a time frame that would have to pass before this, this becomes the thing you want or need. And I don't like the sound of that either. I mean, really, I don't, who knows what this time frame is. It could be for someone to finish school, which would be obvious because really you don't need to start this crazy lifetime romance, like while someone's, I don't know, finishing up or just starting, I don't know. But I do feel like there is a bit of, um, I don't really want to call it a hurdle, but there's something more you guys need to do to actually come together. I still stand by the fact that I think this is someone you are meant to be with. I think this is someone you at least like, how do I say this? You're meant to encounter each other. You're meant to like coexist and be together in a way. I don't know exactly that way, but yes, your past, your paths were meant to cross. Your paths have crossed in, I don't know how many of all, if the majority of your past lives, I really, really believe that. I see that in this like kind of record keeping type way. Um, and visions of life beyond death. I feel like this person continues on in your, in your world, in your history, in your future. But I, I also don't think it's as simple as walking up to this person right now and being like, Hey, let's do this. I think there are, there's things you have to think about. And I think some of that is like, what exactly do you want out of this? What's you just really have to think on what you want from this person and how you want it to unfold. That's not a bad thing. And yeah, there's just contemplation that needs to be given to this. And honestly, there's a little bit, I think of like, sacrifice that would have to be given to this as well. Cause this could be so powerful and big and positive that you would almost have to like sacrifice something. So, um, and nothing living obviously, but like something, I can't even think of an example. Cause I, I, I can't think of what that would be, but I, in other words, this isn't something that's going to unfold completely naturally. It will unfold because I think it's supposed to, and it's going to no matter what, but, um, it's, yeah, it's not as simple as like knocking on someone's door and being like, Hey, let's do this. There's, and someone, one of you might feel stuck right now, might feel like bound by some duty or obligation that kind of like takes you in another direction or has been taking you in another direction. I don't know why I keep going back to like this thing of like, one of you feels like you might be in a relationship. And, um, I, if that's the case, then there does need to be like patience and respect on both of your accounts. Um, I do feel like that relationship will end, but I don't want it to end because one of you pushed it to end. I don't know. I can't, I guess I don't need to explain that anymore, but there is this sense that one of you could be tied up or obligated to someone else. It could be to a family member, to a child, to a and a partner, but there is that sense. And I get that so much with the hangman and with the eight of swords. So, and there is something which I can't really explain, but there's this feeling, cause I gave you the, this message of like, there needs to be respect given to this. Just because you have this deep, deep, deep connection doesn't mean you have to like flaunt it or exploit it or lord it over anyone, because I feel like that could be done here and I don't want that. And it wouldn't 
ultimately make you feel good and it might make you feel like weird and guilty. So I do want you to give respect to that, but there's something here, like hands down, 100%. Yes, I do think you're meant to be with this person. I think you've been with them in many past lives. I think you're going to continue to be with them in many more lives. And I think you guys have a varying degree of dynamics. And I'm gonna go back to the sibling thing. That's not like icky or gross to me at all. It doesn't mean that anything um, incestual like at all. It just means that you have a like a very, to me, it means you have like a very shared consciousness. You have a, there's something if you guys like, lock eyes, you start talking, you, whatever it is, there's, there's a real understanding, like core, core understanding of each other. And this could be very intimidating and hard on other people, especially if you're in a relationship, you might be that person that the other person's partner knows like, Oh my God, I can't compete with that person. I can't, you know, how you look at them, whatever it is. So I do think there is a time and a respect that needs to be given to a certain situation, like a, in a delicate way. But, um, yeah, I think you, I think you're should, I think you're meant to be with this person. Um, and I hope if it's what you want and they want, and it works out for everyone that you absolutely do get to be with them sooner than later. But, um, yeah, I just, I'm going to get three more cards from spirit. Cause I want to like, I want to end this on the positive note of like, I don't want it to feel like, okay, so now you just have to wait for this person to, you know, like get divorced and then they're all yours. Cause that sounds really depressing and hard and not pleasant. So let's get a message to like speak to this. I just want input from spirit, um, in two cards to kind of help, help, help out a little bit. So two of wands, positive card, love it. And the magician mastery. Okay. So the two of wands is again, unity synchronicity there is this absolute you guys are in sync and what i get from this input from spirit is that this is to me i'm going to take this as divine timing when the time comes the right time things will happen exactly as they're meant to the events the actions you guys take things will play out exactly as they're supposed to but this is definitely a card to tell me um it's positive it's all positive it's it, it tells me yes you will be together, but it will be in this divine timing kind of way. And you guys will both know it. It won't take you, you know, if you feel like you have to push this person into a situation to make it work or they're doing the same to you, then it's not the right time. And honestly, you wouldn't even want to be with them under these circumstances anyway. Um, and let's say none of this applies to your dynamic. Let's say you guys are both single and you're ready to go. Then maybe there's something to do with finances or maybe there's something to do with like, you know, finishing some coursework or getting a promotion at work. Like, I just feel like there's one thing that you have to like, one hurdle you have to see through and um, almost be patient and respectful of that time until then. The magician, I mean, input from spirit, you guys both, mastery is the word here, but it is this, you do have the control. There is this, Oh my God, to, it almost contradicts everything I just said, but like there's a power you guys have. You have a power, almost unstoppable. And if you guys both want this, yes, I think um, you can definitely achieve it. This is, I think this is a card almost to remind you to not abuse the power. I, I, I think there's a message here of that. I think there's this sense of like, be respectful of this thing you guys have. Um, yeah. So I'm going to end the reading here. I, I see this as a positive reading. I see this as something that demands like both of your guys' respect, energy, time, but definitely respect. That is the word that's going to come up for me in regards to you two, like over and over again. I see you guys together. I really do. And you know what? I don't, I'm not saying that this has to happen like in the next, like I, I'm not saying that this isn't going to happen for, I have like so many double negatives. I see this happening sooner than later if that makes sense for you guys. Let's put it that way. It doesn't have to be pushed out until like the next decade, okay? It doesn't have to be this thing that you sit and wait on forever, but um, I guess you came here not really asking for when or how or why, just are you meant to be? Yeah, I do think you are. So. Good luck with that, because I, I think there's a lot of potential here and um, a lot that's going to happen. And I do think it could be very beautiful and exciting and wonderful. And there are so many positive cards on the table. I've kind of like hammered this with a message that was 
slightly over the top, but there are very beautiful cards on the table to imply that like, yeah, you guys do have this. I just, I'm gonna end this reading on even a little more intensity. There is a sense of power here between you guys that is very, very powerful. And I feel like you have potential together to do really great things. But I also think because you guys have such an intensity and such a connection that if it was abused or used wrongly, it could hurt yourselves and others. So um, just, I don't know, keep that in mind if you want to. Um, okay, thank you so much. Please like, subscribe, comment. I'm so happy that you listened to this whole reading. Thank you, and I hope to see you again. Goodbye, Tarot. Thank you so much for listening to my channel and letting me read for you. Um, we are doing a reading for Are You Meant to Be With Them? So we're gonna find out if this is someone you are meant to be with. The last three readings, a bit, or bleh, two readings have been really interesting um, and really beautiful. You are Pile 2, and this is Libyan Gold Tectite. So I don't know, it's very beautiful. Looks like a little sunshine and a stone. I always do this even though I don't know why. Um, okay, here we go. I have three Oracle cards that I pulled for you and um, your pile. So let's see, we have Faith in Process, Black Moon Lilith Mystery, and Peacock. Okay, so Uh, are you meant to be with them? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say what I'm feeling so far based off of these cards. We're absolutely gonna get tarot, and um, this could go so many different ways. So I don't want to invest too much stock into what I'm about to say, but this would be the first of the three piles where I would say there's something to make me think you aren't meant to be with are not meant to be with this person. And my gut tells me that if you're here, you want the message that you're supposed to be with them. So this might not be something you want to hear. Um, and you know what? It might not even be accurate. So it might not even be your pile, but I'm going to go through with this reading, but this is my, um, this is my gut. And I can speak to it just based on like the initial thing, the peacock, There's a lot about like flex and pomp and circumstance. And there's also a message where the peacock apparently like lives in the woods and eats poisonous um, plants and then like breaks it down into, I don't know, just basically eats poisonous things and doesn't get poisoned by them. Um, so there's this whole alchemy thing that goes into the peacock. And then as a result of that, it's able to like create these certain oh my gosh, I don't know, let's say molecules to give their feathers all the beautiful colors. I feel like I'm getting the feeling you're with this person right now. Things aren't great. And um, you want a message that you're meant to be with them. Like you, you should stick this out. You should ride this through. I don't think so. I, I'm not getting that. And even the Black Moon Lilith, Lilith mystery is I think there's a, I think there's a, I don't want to say a dark energy to your dynamic, but there is, there's something hard about it. There's, and the other piles didn't give me this vibe. So if you don't want to hear this reading or if it doesn't seem like it's going to track, then yeah, don't watch it. But I don't know, maybe if you do have this little feeling in your gut or this nagging instinct that this isn't your person and that you deserve better, or it really isn't someone you need to go through this mountain of shit with, like, um, then this is your pile. So, okay, let's get into this. I wanna see your guys' dynamic, see you in three cards, you as in each of you, you and this person you're inquiring about. So we've got temperance, which is harmony, which isn't bad. Um, the Chariot, which is movement, not bad, and Two of Wands, which is unity. Okay, so this is interesting. Okay, these three cards so far, just without overanalyzing them, doesn't necessarily track with what I said here, but I'm going to give some time to all this and see where I'm at because this was a strong message like out the gates. Um, but if I see you guys in three cards... Harmony, okay, I like the unity card, okay? This is, it's hard to deny that this is a card of two people who are in sync, two people who have shared passions, shared interests, two people who actually work quite well together, 
Um, temperance, more harmony, more balance, more, I mean, this is very, this is very positive. Um, movement, the chariot, like I, oh God. So I would say the two of you seem to be very much in sync. Um, more so than I ever could have imagined. So now I am genuinely confused and we'll have to get more cards and ask, you know, like a whole bevy of questions because I don't understand this message here, which definitely speaks to me of like strife, sadness, um, almost like, um, kind of like a mask, like showing when like flexing a little there's just something like where someone pretends to be something they're not shows one face to the world and then another face at home with you i just feel like there's this there's a confusion and it's caused you to really have to like work on it and look within and figure out what you want there's i just feel like there's a little pain and sadness over here and then i pulled these three cards and i'm like oh this looks great so i don't know if there are two completely different sides to this dynamic i don't know if this is like how you feel at home when you're alone with this person or, and this is like what the world sees. I'm not sure, but I asked to see you guys in three cards and it is, it's very positive. Um, all right, I need three more cards to see you guys because I, I, I'm very confused. So I'm gonna ask Spirit, I need, I need some clarity and like understanding this, this confusion here. So I want to see you guys in three more cards and see what we've got here. Okay. The hanged man. Oh my goodness. All these, um, all these majors, four of pentacles, stability and the fool. Okay. So not bad. Um, okay. But I asked for clarity. I want to understand the big picture. I mean, the four of pentacles is, I wouldn't say it's opposite of the chariot and meaning, but it, in some ways it could be. To me, this is a card of like being like stuck and grounded and um, like really planted, but not 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 in a way where like you should be, but in a way where like you're almost stuck out of fear. Whereas the chariot is like movement, momentum, like um, just this excitement, this this drive that you know, like oh God, you know, there are readings where I'm like. I just want to wipe the cards clean and start over, but I'm not going to do that because the question is, I'm just going to get back to the question. I'm going to really try to tap in here and understand, are you meant to be? I'm getting, oh shoot, I'm getting two very mixed messages and okay, just bear with me, which you've done a great job of doing. All right, I'm gonna ask Spirit in three cards. Are you meant to be? I still need some help here, Spirit. Um, the High Priestess, Page of Wands, and Ace of Swords, funny. Okay, I... <sighs> okay. <laughs> I just have to take it for what it's worth from the cards. I really do. So if you stuck with me through this, I think right now you're suffering, okay? I actually think your dynamic right now is very different. I don't think what you're going through right now has to do with this person because everything on the table tells me you are meant to be with this person. I don't think this person is this person. They can't be. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense unless something makes sense to you and I'm not seeing it. To me, um, I think right now you're dealing with something, you're going through something that is very, very hard um, and separate of this person. Or maybe this person has done a lot of work on themselves. Maybe they were, I don't know, it's so cliche, but maybe they were an addict or maybe they did horrible things at one point and by horrible I I mean god I hate saying the word horrible but like maybe they've done things they regret um but really I think you're here right now things are hard on you you're maybe in a toxic relationship maybe you're in a relationship that borders on abusive in some ways there's something here that is dark and heavy with you 
And then this person that you're asking about for some reason is not in these cards. These cards about your person are very positive. And I, maybe a different tarot reader would read this differently, but I am going to say that yes, I think you are meant to be with this person. I think you're in a situation right now that needs addressing and needs, um, I don't know, to be left or exited properly. I'm not sure. Um, and you know, here's, I mean, here's a thought. Maybe, maybe when you started this reading, you were thinking about this person. Maybe you're in a relationship with someone that you shouldn't be with and you love and maybe like so many toxic relationships, you're kind of in this net that you can't get out of and you love them to pieces and you do anything to change them. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Maybe that's who you came here inquiring about and the answer is no, you shouldn't be with this person. This person here, these three Oracle cards, no, you are not meant to be with this person. But then I turn all these other cards over that are positive and lovely and beautiful and tell a story of someone that like, makes you feel complete and makes you feel confident and makes you feel like alive and at peace and all these things. So maybe there's someone else that you have in the way, way back of your mind that you weren't even thinking of when you asked if you're meant to be with them. Maybe there's someone else that you are meant to be with. And forget the maybe, there is someone else you're meant to be with. It's not the person over here, it's someone over here. So. This can also go two ways. Maybe you know who this person is. Maybe you're like, oh yeah, that's them. I know who this is. Haven't thought about them in 10 years or think about them every day, just never thought about them like this, whatever it is. Or maybe it's someone you haven't yet met yet, but the message here is there is someone, one person, this person that you are meant to be with. So taking this reading in a totally different direction, which is, really kind of like interesting and complicated. Um, the message now is that <laughs> you need to handle this situation over here because it's not serving you. It's sad. It makes me sad. Um, I am going to use the word toxic to describe it. If you came here asking if you're meant to be with this person, no, you're not. And I'm going to tell you that in these three Oracle cards, I don't even need to dive into it. I just don't like anything about this combination. Over here, there is someone that really does enrich your life, that doesn't push you, doesn't rush you, they inspire you, you guys are in sync, you have something. If you haven't met this person yet, you will know it right away when you do. I think you will feel this instant connection to them, I think you'll feel this calm come over you, you'll be clear-headed, you'll be confident, you'll feel like empowered. I just, you will feel like everything in the movies when you meet this person, it will be so clear, like, oh my God, I can't believe like just the confidence I had when I was with this person. So again, if you haven't met them, you will meet them probably soon and um, you'll know it and that's why. Or you know who this person is and it either is coming to you right now or they're always in the back of your mind and you never really considered it or you, whatever, so many different scenarios. Or you might not, and then you might go to bed tonight and dream about them and be like, oh my God, that's the person. Keep your mind open here because there is absolutely someone else other than the shit bag you're with or obsessed with or whatever, hooking up with whatever this is over here. Um, someone other than that that you're meant to be with. And you know, I, gosh, I mean, take this, I. I hate to say take this with a grain of salt because I see this, I believe it, I feel it, but let's say there's a lot of people watching this at some point in time and um, it's an intense message to like, you know, spread to the masses, but I, I feel it. So, okay, I wanna get, um, I wanna get some, I don't know, let's get a gift from spirit. Let's get some input slash gift from spirit. So um, here we go, we've got, Five of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so the Five of Pentacles, they say emotional withdrawal. It's a, oh goodness, Ten of Pentacles contentment. Okay, again, you know, I could be breaking all the rules here, but it's still Five of Pentacles, emotional withdrawal. This is a card of like, it can be actually interpreted in many different ways, but it's not a great card. <laughs> it's a card of lack, of want, of 
not having the things that you need that probably then push you into this state of like emotionally withdrawing because you don't have like the bare necessities basically it's it's definitely a card of lack on so many levels so yes i think you're lacking right now ten of pentacles contentment let's say if you're at the five of pentacles stage you collect all these other pentacles five more to be exact go through this whole process of dealing and riding the wave of the pentacles which is actually a good wave to ride if you're going to ride one of the suits go for the pentacles um or the cups but the pentacles are pretty solid you're you've got the ten of pentacles <laughs> to look forward to um yeah i'm gonna put your emotional withdrawal five of pentacles over here this pertains to this get rid of this deal with this emotionally withdraw from this and then look forward to your whole blissful ten of pentacles existence over here with this person that you're absolutely meant to be with so i'm gonna i hope i hope well i hope you stick around and if you're reading or listening to this you did stick around you did see this through because there is a really lovely message here that's really truly meant to find you maybe more than any of the other piles if what i'm saying actually tracks or it's accurate or it's true then i really feel that this message was meant to find you and i hope you see the beauty in like this this part over here and the potential um it's very i think it's exciting i think it's incredible and you know if you can be happy with this person that you're meant to be with then that should make you happy just knowing that um yeah so i want to like ask a question but let's see okay let's get um i'm gonna get a good luck charm from spirit what do we have here because i want i want you to have a good luck charm okay swords betrayal seven of swords that does not feel like a good luck charm, but because I asked for a good luck charm, it really can't be something bad. So if we have to think of like what spirit was giving you, oh my gosh, with the seven of swords of betrayal, um, why am I shaking? If you've asked the question, is this person dishonest? Are they unfaithful? I wish I knew. I wish I had proof. I hate to read it this way because it's not a good luck charm to validate your worst fears, but that's what I'm getting out of this. That's the best I can make of it is that if you asked a question, you know, is this person doing X, Y, Z? I think they are. Like I said, I don't have the proof. Is this person who told me that they saw my person doing something? This is your answer. And it's, it's betrayal. It's seven of swords. It's ick. It's, ugh, it's all the bad things um, right here. So to almost kind of wrap this up, I need you to get from the five of pentacles phase, abandon this and yeah, work your way up to the 10 of pentacles, which is really bliss. It's the pinnacle of the pentacles. It's happy. It's lovely. Um, and you know, the stability of the four of pentacles, that's that's okay. Your person isn't going anywhere. I think they're, your person isn't the one you're meant to be with. They're here. They're waiting for you. This is going to work out. This is going to happen for you because you are indeed meant to be with this person. And I really think you're going to get just struck with how great this is um, very soon. So I, yeah, I guess I'm going to end it here because if not, I'm just going to keep asking questions and like adding to your story, which I don't really want to do because I don't, I don't know. I don't want to come up with more like not pleasant scenarios or whatever, but I like this for you. I'm, I'm sorry about this for you, but, um, if you came here thinking that you needed like some guidance or direction or something along those lines, then, then I hope you found it in this reading. So yeah, I would love to hear your comments or like subscribe, whatever, if this moved you in any way, but, um, I, hope for the best for you. And I, I hope that somehow this makes you happy and brings relief. So, um, thank you very much for watching and I, I hope to see you again. Goodbye. Tarot, thank you so much for being here and letting me read for you. We are doing a reading for, are you meant to be with them? Um, I always have a way of mentioning that the previous readings were just really good and inspiring when they were. So yeah, this has been like, um, I don't know. I just feel like I've been really 
on for this reading. So um, I'm happy with it. And yeah, I can't wait to see what this reveals. So are you meant to be with them? You picked appropriate, which I would love to see in real life. Um, I haven't. Okay. I have three Oracle cards and these are going to help me kind of just get a gauge of where you're at. Um, okay. Spirals of manifestation, flying fish, and Libra eye balance. Okay. Interesting. So of these three Oracle cards for every pile, I've turned them over and I look at them and I get this kind of like instant like idea maybe of what things look like for you and this person and this dynamic. And I have to say there is something very tuned in, very passionate, very turned up, very like real, intentional. There's just something, I feel like you guys are actually together. Um, if you're not, fine, this reading can still totally apply, but I get the sense that you guys have these interactions. Um, and by together, I feel like maybe you have something that is possibly more physical at the moment, like less committed um but i don't know that that's really a problem necessarily except to say that like you you know both of you one of you might definitely want more and kind of see if it's worth putting that energy in but yes i would say from what i can see of these three oracle cards there is something very like when i say intentional i mean that like you're not just going about this like willy nilly, like there's something in you drawing you to this person, drawing you to like be close to them, to reach for them, to touch them, to like incorporate them into your life. Like it's, it's something you guys both really want. And I don't think it, it's taking a ton of effort. I think you guys are like almost effortlessly existing together. And I, I do see this, I don't know, just this passion piece. I think there's like a lot of like energy and movement between you guys. There's something very, um, I don't know, there is this meant to be kind of feeling with you guys. And it's, but it's funny because I haven't had another pie like this and I, I keep saying passion, but there, that, okay, let me, um, I want to see you guys in three cards, like your dynamic, you, let me see by you, the two of you, let me see the two of you in three cards, the high priestess, the chariot and the seven of pentacles. Okay. So... I do get this sense of absolutely a movement, absolutely of being drawn towards one another. Um, I do think that whether you're a woman watching this or not, I feel like most people are, but that's not really relevant. Um, this feminine energy, like you are the, you're almost like the puppet master. You're the one that is it is the person with the feminine energy that is like really driving this dynamic. There is something very like, like you're kind of the queen, let's say. There's this sense of like your majesty about this. I can't, I can't really explain it, but it is a feeling that your person like almost worships you. And the point is, are you meant to be? Yes, I think you're meant to be, which means that things work between you guys. They flow. There isn't this like no one really worships anyone, but they have you on a pedestal. They really, really respect you. They see you in a way that is like very um, kind of divine. Um, I absolutely get this. And also I think they, they're, there's an intrigue with you. They are mystified by you. Like, and, and you obviously have things in, re, in exchange, in return, you feel a certain way about them. Obviously you wouldn't be asking about them if you didn't, but this is just what I'm seeing about your guys' dynamic. It, it really speaks to like how in tune to you they are um, and how I think you guys are both very much drawn to each other. Like this is a mutual thing. You guys are feeling each other across the board. So this is awesome. Seven of Pentacles, also love to see it. Um, faith is the word on the card, but I feel like it's this, you're invested in each other. You're putting the work in. You really believe that like, if you take the time, if you take the energy, if you just like you're planting the right seeds and things are going to work out, like, you know, whatever it is you guys are doing together, whatever that is, that could be like, I don't know, you guys could have like kids that are of a certain age, same similar age and you're 
engaging in like activities that you do with your kids or you could be like you know like I don't know oh my god like just two people who hook up like I don't know I'm trying to go to like extremes of the spectrum of like how you guys would interact with each other or how your worlds intertwine either way I think this dynamic plays out that you guys are are really drawn to each other your paths frequently cross and that um you really do feel like kind of like a queen when you're around this person and yeah there is that that just high priestess feminine dominant energy going on here um and you you are the one you're it's like a moth to a flame this person is very very drawn to you and it's funny that like usually the I don't know that you're usually meant to be with someone where this dynamic plays out because it's almost like too good to be true that you would have found a person that you have this much chemistry with and interest with and spark with and on top of it you're meant to be but like there is a sense of yeah I, I do think you could be meant to be with this person um okay let me see your guys's near future because that's that's a fun one um what's the near future look like for you guys so we've got wishes the star I'll take that knight of wands fun and temperance this temperance card i think she's showing up in every pile um i always say always i usually say that i get these major cards pop up always i just always have major cards on my own readings and i shuffle my deck so much between readings but here we are we've got six cards on the table and four of them are majors um i do think you guys are going to strike a little bit more of a balance. I do think you're in a phase right now where things are very like heavy on the physical um, or there's this physical energy that is like um, really the prominent kind of desire or thing that's being pushed. Um, so yes, there's definitely a tension between you guys that, that feels very like sexual in that way, but that's fine, that's exciting, good for you guys, I, I think that's great. I still see this as someone that like you can really make something with. Um, but yeah, I, I do think a balance does need to be struck, whether that balance is like you take it from being friends that are deeply attracted to each other to the next level, or whether you kind of like tone down the physical and like incorporate more like depth through conversation and other kinds of connection. I'm not sure, but a balance somehow. Um, the star card tells me like, if you really, yeah, if you want this, I, I do think that it will take work. There's something about work. I see this in the flying fish card. There's this like, there is a bit of like, you'd have to be determined to pull this off. It's not gonna come easily, but I do feel like it's meant to be. And I feel like this is part of the process for both of you. If you're going to make this work, you're gonna need to put the work in. In other words, like if you, in order for you to even want to be with someone for a long time, you're going to have to know that you put the work in. Like anything else would just fizzle for you. So I I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but um let's say you tire of people easily. You get burnt out, you get bored. One month, two months, six months rolls around and you're like, that's it. I've had enough. I'm done with you this relationship would call for something different and it would be that effort that you put into it that would make you want to be with this person um so if you are meant to be with this person it it would also mean that you're meant to put the work in if that makes sense if i even did a decent job of explaining that um so i see that in the flying fish card and i see this in the like the spirals of manifestation card this you can have it you can create this you can work this it is your you know, beautiful puzzle to put together or whatever, like it can all be yours. It's just, it's going to take some work. And I think some intention and some little bit of everything, but there is a very like connected, exciting dynamic between you guys. And Knight of Wands, I, this just further remind, reminds me that there's, there's this excitement, this impulsiveness, this thing that keeps you guys coming back to each other. Um, very, very special dynamic here and of all the piles this is like quite possibly the relationship I would want to find myself in because there is such a like passionate excitement to this there's something very um it, it's like what everyone wants but it's very hard to achieve and maintain and pull off and I feel like you guys really have a shot at that so I would have to say, just looking at these cards, that yes, you were meant to be with this person. Um, but again, I do see this thing of work. So I'm going to ask Spirit, are you meant to be? Because um, I did that for all the other piles. And let's see what she says, because it'll be, 
sorry, I'm not gonna take this whole tremendous pile. It'll be something along the lines of like, you know, eye-opening insight, maybe a message will be revealed. Let's see what Spirit has to say when we ask, are you meant to be with them? So, 10 of swords, kind of a heavy card. Um, the Empress, love it, love everything about that beautiful divine energy that comes, divine feminine, feminine energy, and 10 of pentacles. So, okay, talk about like putting in work. I don't know that it's a 10 of swords card, but it's this card of, they're calling it completion. I like that. It's a more gentle way of like approaching the 10 of swords, but yeah, this is gonna, like some shit's gonna hit the fan. Things are gonna happen. I don't think this is gonna be this like completely blissful, easy thing because then you wouldn't want it. I, this might be a reminder that like in order to see this through, to really realize that this is your person and you're meant to be, um, I do think there's gonna be a very satisfying shit storm that you'll have to weather. And I truly, I wanna emphasize the satisfying part. It is going to be exactly what you or each of you would need to really want this to be the person. Um, yeah, there's this fun, there's something very fun and electrical about what you guys have. There's this mystery, there's this excitement, there's absolutely this passion piece, there's this kind of like beauty in the unknown. There's something here that it's, it's, it's the most exciting pile and it's my last pile. So that's funny. I feel like the last piles are usually more like toned down, but this is definitely like the most lit pile that I've seen. Um, anyway. Okay. So good for you. Good for choosing this. I don't even remember what the name of your stone was, but it's a winner. Uh, the Empress, I love seeing the Empress period, but then I see this with the high priestess temperance. It is very much that a bad bitch energy, that divine feminine, there is that overwhelming essence that you kind of bring this, you're kind of the essence of this. You're the, it's almost like you are really getting off on how much this person almost worships you. And this will also be, a, this, this too will turn and, um, you know, like sands through the hourglass kind of thing. This person isn't always going to worship you, but they are always going to see you as this very beautiful, lovely creature. And um, yeah, I think they'll worship you in a way, but things will ebb and flow. So I, I think that's gonna be a theme here that, yeah, that you'll just have to deal with and you'll make fun of it somehow. You will make it fun somehow because I think that's what you guys do. You guys have fun together. You absolutely have fun together. Um, Ten of Pentacles, contentment. Yes, love that. It is absolute contentment. It's the pinnacle of the pentacles. Great card. I think that means you guys could have a home life. You could live together. You could start a family. You could combine families. You could adopt animals, whatever it is. Like, I just get this sense of like your home life is stable and good and balanced, and you can like really make a home with this person. It's funny to see the two tens here. One's a little bit more intense and kind of like, eh, don't love it, but like, I wanted to see cards on here that I don't love. This is really the first card that's come up that's like, okay, it's gonna take work. Get ready, not everything's gonna be amazing. You are gonna have, you know, a couple sleepless nights. You're gonna feel stressed, you're gonna feel angry. Like you, it's not always gonna be perfect because the general layout here is like very, very alluring and enticing. So um, yeah, I wanna get, I wanna get um, some input from Spirit. Let's, let's, Let's let spirit chime in on some things. So we've got the hermit and we've got three of cups. Okay, so I do think the message here with the hermit coming up first is, of course, another major card. Of course. Um, I don't know, something about stay tuned in, don't lose yourself, don't, don't lose the plot, don't make it all about this relationship, this dynamic, this physical, this whatever. Like I really think there's a lot here much to the temperance card about finding a balance and about really working on yourself. Just don't lose sight of yourself in this and do continue the work on yourself. Um, cause I, I think you could get carried away with like all the like attention being lavished on you and whatever else comes along with that. But, um, I, I do want to see you stay like, I don't know, committed to working on yourself and growing and doing the right thing. But three of cups, this is a really lovely card and the word on here is friendship and I don't always apply friendship to this card, but I do want to say combined with the hermit card, 
I do see this don't abandon your friends message here. Um, because here's the thing, I think this dynamic you're in with this person, the are you meant to be, if you guys didn't make the effort to keep a balance, to do the right thing, to not get consumed in this, to not get like overindulgent, to not get too like lustful or gluttonous or hedonistic or whatever, you could lose sight. So I think doing your own thing and staying connected and for this card, this is much less of a romantic vibe. I do see it as a friendship for both of you. Maintain your friendships, maintain your side connections, your friends, your other things that keep you going. I really think in two cards, this is the message. This is the input from spirit that she wants to provide here because being meant to be for you, it's never going to be easy. You know, just because you're meant to be with someone doesn't mean it's going to work. Let's put it that way. Um, it's still going to take work and as it should, because you wouldn't even want to be with this person if it didn't. So it's funny, I, I just feel like I see you and understand you very well, like you being whoever is listening to this, and I get what you want out of this, and I have a feeling you're at a stage in this dynamic right now where things are like either just starting to gear up, they could gear up, they've just taken off, so it's like a very excited, like lights, like fireworks exploding kind of time for you, but I... I don't want like the writing on the wall to be there like it always is with every, every other dynamic. So I really do think I'm just going to kind of wrap up this reading and saying, yes, I do think you could be meant to be with this person, but um, don't get too carried away in like one aspect of the dynamic. And we're going to get a gift from spirit. What spirit's gift for you? Queen of cups, kindness. I do like the cups. I like the cups coming up. It puts you back in touch with your emotions, kind of takes you out of the physical, makes you a little more feeling on like different levels. Um, but I do like the kindness piece because when I said like there's that queen energy, that bad bitch energy, that divine feminine, that could be someone who could get a little maybe acidic at some point, someone who could be a little snappy or snippy. I just... St yeah, stay kind. And I really think this is, you're going to find this kindness and this peace by really looking within, putting the work in, continuing to like stay quiet and grounded. Um, and that wisdom that is searching for that, not just searching for happiness. And again, those like hedonistic, um, rewards. I think you really have to go beyond that here. So that's my very random kind of breakdown of your dynamic and the answer to are you meant to be with them? Yeah, sure. And if I start talking, I'll just repeat everything I said tenfold. But um, yeah, don't lose sight of the kindness. Stick with that. And uh, I think you've really got something great here. So I'm excited for you and your dynamic and your connection. And I would love to hear a comment on it. So thank you so much for listening. And I hope to see you again. Goodbye.